So this is actually my, my second attempt at doing this video. So most, most people are, are very aware of probably the work that It's a Gundam does in showing the double standards of male streamers and female streamers, male content creators, female content creators. And if you're if you're a male content creator, in my opinion, you should not be interacting with females in your country. If you are in the West, if you are in the West, especially if you're here in America, you should not be messing with females, period, within the West. Because the terms of services in terms of like whether it's sexual harassment i mean there was a recent one that came out by say no rage and when you actually watch his video which i just finished watching he even says in his video he was like like they they put here partnered a popular twitch streamer say no rage acknowledge and apologizes for allegations of sexual harassment if you actually watch the video like in the middle of the video like at six the six minute mark he even says you know i really don't recall any of these things of any any of the acts that these people are saying are accusing me of or things that he said i did say I, I touched a woman's hair without permission but he was like as far as like these 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 touching allegations he was like i never touched anybody that ever said like hey don't touch me right like there's plenty of times like, like at work i mean i work in a primarily female uh, environment and I can't tell you all the times where I'm like, please stop, stop touching me, right? Especially when the summer comes around and you like, you hitting the gym, right? You, your arms are getting big, that chest getting swole. And they, oh, you're working out? You're looking big, you're looking big. And they come rubbing your back, right? And I literally got to be like, please stop touching me. To the point, so much to the point where I walk through the hospital hallways with the blinders on. I don't fuck with no females whatsoever okay you hitting on me i don't i don't even care because i don't date in the west period i spend most of my time traveling i work i got a i got a side business i do investings occasionally i'll do some streams i'll set up a youtube video every now and again i don't mess with women in the west period and that is my advice to most men it's why one of the reasons why the red pill is so big on YouTube, right? Trying to warn men of what female nature is like and what you have to look forward to. To the point where even, even there was, I don't know how many times you can look up sexual coercion, right? So if you came across and you were like, uh, cause I know some men do this, some men do do this, where they will lie about their income. Right. And so females would be like, oh, you got you got money. I'll throw it at you. You got money. Yeah, you can have it. If you're a broke dude. They ain't trying to mess with you. And so it's OK to be a gold digger, but it's not OK to be a guy who lies about his income. It's OK to pr primarily want men for their resources, but it's not OK for men to primarily want a female because of what she looks like. And that's that's facts. That is facts in America, in the West, feminism 2020, especially. So if you are a man and there are terms of service that deal with harassment, well, you could say you can get thrown in with coercion, especially if it's just a group of people. They're like, I don't like you and this, that and the third. Let's just ban it, especially on Twitter. I mean, shit, one female throws up a false allegation. It's like 100,000 likes. There was some other female that was talking about some dudes that talk about faking their finances and you coercing me into sex and isn't that rape right that's the mindset of a lot of these females that are out there because really they don't they don't want to fuck with you unless you are the, the top you know 10 percent of men they're not even looking at you i think what was it uh pof or uh match.com one of these things they were like Females find like 80% of all men unattractive. And so they're just literally throwing, at, throwing it at the people at the top. And this is what men who are at the top constantly have to deal with, right? So if you're 
if you're a well-to-do man and people want to talk about sexual harassment and sexual uh, unwanted sexual comments fucking be a man who's on his grind you really want to talk about someone having to deal with unwanted sexual comments be a dude who is on his grind and your dms will be filled to the fucking brim with chicks who are just throwing it at you and if god forbid you reply I me mean, how many football players get exposed by these female you know instagram models and they're like look this dude was hitting me up in my dms but they don't show the whole conversation they only show you half the conversation where the guy's like all right yeah we can meet up and then they're like oh, i got you motherfucker like look this dude's thirsty he's coming out here and he's a married man he's a married man he's coming out here right same shit happened to like what was his name uh Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle recently got called out by some thought who was throwing it at him, and then she exposed him, you know, on on YouTube and on online. That oh, he's a married man. Look at him. He was sleeping around. But you're the one who threw it at him, right? I mean, you knew who he was. You were just hoping to be Mrs. Chappelle. That's the reality, and that's that's the reality that a lot of men who who are on their grind and are actually becoming successful. If you're if you're a successful man, you will deal with unwanted sexual comments, sexual harassment. You will deal with unwanted touching shit. I deal with this already. I deal with this at my at my job. I've been I could talk about this shit all the time. And I, my manager came at me one time and he was like, "Yeah, some females said that you were you were unfriendly that they said hello to you and you didn't uh, like talk to them. And he was like, I don't even know what to do with that. And I said, the reality is, is I just don't fuck with women in the West. And so they will come at me. They'll smile across the hall. Hey, how you doing? And I'm just like walking through the halls. Man, hey, what's up? And I just keep moving. You ain't even there. Like I'm walking through the halls. I don't care if you're good looking or not. You ain't even there. You're just uh, another human being I'm passing by. I don't fuck with females in the West. Don't do it. Because if you are a well-to-do man, if, if, if they can't lock you down, they will come for you in some other way, shape, or form. And so if you're just not, mess if you're just not even in the mix, right? If you're not even in the mix, the chances of you getting an allegation against you hopefully diminish. I mean, granted, and a lot of times it's because a lot of these men, they go to these parties and they're going to their network and then females are like, oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Can I, hey, hey I'm, I'm, I'm a new content creator. And then you're like, hey, you just look, just keep looking that way. Just avoid the whole situation. It's the reality. I'm telling you, if you are someone who is new to content creation or you're just looking to get into any sort of an industry where you're going to come in contact with uh, with women, Best believe you will be dealing with a lot of sexual harassment, unwanted touching, unwanted sexual comments, and coercion, right? Because I don't know how many of these females come in with all that clown makeup on, right? The the fake, the hair, the, the five inch high heels talking about I need a guy who's six foot. Meanwhile, you four eight, but I need a guy who's six foot, right? Etc. This is the stuff you got to deal with. Chicks with the wearing the uh, the straps so that you can't see that belly sticking out. This, this is the stuff that us men have to deal with. Men deal, especially if you are a well-to-do man, you deal with all this stuff talked about, right? Right here. This shit hurts my brain that females can't comprehend that men don't want this shit either. A lot of men don't want, I don't want to hear you talking about me uh, coming up. I can't tell you. When, I'm, when I was hitting the gym hard and I was nice and lean, had the little chest popping out, I can't tell you. How many females just come up and rubbing your arms, rubbing your shoulders like a fucking genie about to pop out, rubbing your back, talk about, oh, you look like you're hitting the gym. This is the same shit that males have to deal with as well. But it's very one-sided. It's a very one-sided story, especially when it comes to things like YouTube and Twitch, where it's very one-sided. Because men don't come out here talking about, you know, I'm tired of all these female streamers touching me. I, like, like I said, I live in here and in Manhattan. I can't tell you how many times you go out, you well-to-do, you fully dress, you got that blazer on, you fit everything down to the nines, you got a nice gold watch on, and I don't have pinch, somebody pinching my ass. I'm like, am I getting robbed? Somebody trying to steal my wallet? No, it's some female pinching my ass. It's some female just trying to get a quick feel, and then you look around, and it's hee <laughs> This shit that men have to deal with all the time. But we aren't out here complaining about it. This is real talk. It really, it, this happens on a regular basis. The problem is, is that a lot of young men just don't know how to deal with females. They're always trying to hit people up instead of just waiting for them to come to you and then just replying. 
they want to go out and actively pursue women, which I completely disagree with. It's one of the reasons why they come out catching you guys, especially if you're a simp, they reward you. If you're like, oh, I'm just looking for a relationship, I'm looking to build to someone, they reward you with calamity, right? I mean, probably what happened to Joe. He was like thinking I met a decent person, you know, and then she had a boyfriend. You were like, why are you fucking with me when you got a boyfriend? You come into the hotel, I'm taking you out, I'm taking you here, I'm introducing you to people, and you got a man telling me, having drinks, coming back to the hotel with me. This shit happens. And the more men who understand this, the more like you are to not even want to mess with a lot of these women. It's just a reality. Most of these women, most of these women, especially if they're on social media, like you look at Twitch and you look at most of these female streamers, they twerking, titties out, talking about don't sexualize me, but hit me up. Hit me up with some of that rent money, right? I need to buy a new dresser, etc. This is the reality of what a lot of men have to deal with. I mean, there was that one poor dude that was on there that like exposed. Uh, he was like there with like a fake, a fake female uh, on his Twitch, and then he's like, "Y'all motherfuckers is is thirsty," and he came through. He's like, "Get debated," right? And that dude got banned. That dude got banned. He got banned for exposing. The reality is that there's a disproportionate, disproportionate number of female streamers who, equ who can just be successful, just sitting there, twerking, little low top, talking about don't over-sexualize me, right? Stop looking at me like a sexual object. A lot more men really need to get together and band together. You know, everybody keeps looking at each other as that hardcore competition. I'm out here you know, competing against you. Meanwhile, the females are like lock in step, walking toe to toe with each other. And they're like, who are we chopping down next? Ladies, who, who are we chopping down next? Who are we cutting off? Right. And then they come up in the DMs of all these different, uh, all these different companies talking about, oh, you, you know, dude, throw some sponsorship our way, throw some sponsorship our, our way. We ain't, we ain't harassing nobody. We ain't over here harassing nobody. Meanwhile, all these popular male streamers are dealing with all these different females in their DMs talk about, I'm going to throw it at you. I'm going to throw you at you. Can I be Mrs. So-and-so, right? Can you, can you put me on? Can you shout me out in a YouTube video? Can you put me on, please? I'm going to throw it at you real quick. And then if you say yes, God forbid, you say yes, it is over for you. 